Basically, those are the simple steps. Those are the simple apps that I use. Ooh, I just rhymed. Simple steps, simple apps. Hey, hey, hey. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Pili Lemasego, and I'm back with yet another YouTube video. As I'm sure you saw from the title, today will be a tutorial on how to use GarageBand so you can record your covers just like me, or whether you're a podcaster and you just like talking, or a person who just likes giving poetry and all that kind of stuff. But the key is you want to have like a mic effect to it. A lot of you guys have been asking me like which apps do I use? How do I match the audio to the video? So today I'll be answering all of those questions and we'll be showing you guys step by step how I do it. But first and foremost, I'd like to thank everybody who has been subscribing. Thank you to the person who's watching right now. Thank you to my returning subscribers, what's up fam? And to everybody who just subscribed, welcome, welcome to the family. I really appreciate you guys so much. And without any further ado, let us us begin with the tutorial okay so the first thing that we are going to talk about is definitely the equipment or the tools that you're going to need so of course that you are able to record right so of course you're going to be needing a recording device that can either be a phone or a camera if you own one then you're going to be needing something to speak into which would be like a mic you can either use a mic that you have i won't be using a mic today i'll just be using hair phones or earphones so that i can in insert it into the other device which will be recording sound at the moment for me i'll be using a camera to record earphones to use as a microphone to speak into and my ipad as the other device that will be recording because what we want is to record a video at the same time and we are recording audio um at the very same time so whenever your mouth moves the like whenever you sing and how your mouth moves then the camera captures that all right okay so everything is absolutely easy peasy the app that i use like i said in the title is garage band to you know record my voice and everything so let's go into that app right now i'm selecting garage band and immediately you see on the top left corner it says create song so i click on that and immediately you see audio recorder if you're a person who just records their voice let's say you're speaking poetry let's say you are saying something profound or whatever you're talking about in your podcast you would just choose the voice so you go on and click the voice as it's loading you see that um there is lead vocals and then there's a bunch of other controls like tone pitch drive this is just to control like how your voice sounds and how you want it to sound in this moment right now i'm going to be adding my my earphones into the mix so i'm going to be inserting them into my ipad because i don't know about you guys but i really like hearing how i sound and what's going on like a lot of people like shy away from how their voice sounds but i'm that person like i need to know did i mess up is there a little uh, 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 crackiness or whatever or does it really sound the way i want to so in that bottom right you can see that they say uh, now that I've inserted the earphones, the monitor says off and on. The option is 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 there now. So I'm going to switch it on, and immediately as I switch it on, like I can hear myself now. I'll 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 record the sound so that you guys can hear the difference from when I'm speaking. But honestly, right now I'm already hearing like the different sound. Mic check one two one two was popping one two one two was popping. I'm sure you guys can hear the difference from when I was speaking without the mic and when I'm speaking with the mic right now. Okay, so if you want to hear yourself, you're going to be switching on that monitor that I spoke about earlier in the bottom right corner. So now the monitor's on, I can hear myself, right? I can hear myself speaking. I preferably do not like hearing that tick tock tick tock tick tock sound so at the top right corner you can see that blue triangle that triangle thing switch the thing off i don't like hearing it if you want it on okay but like when i'm recording i don't like hearing the tick tock because it kind of confuses me now here's the key if let me take this off because i'm not recording anything yet so if you're going to be recording something long Initially, GarageBand, the app, gives you only eight bars. After eight bars, nothing's gonna record, so you don't wanna do that to yourself. So you're gonna go on the top right corner, there by the corner corner, you can see a plus there, right? You press that plus, it already says section eight, eight bars. Click on it, the eight bars thingy. And you can see at the top there, it says automatic. T uh, select the automatic now, and then go back, and then click anywhere on the screen now you can record whatever you record and it'll be as long as you take 
and it won't be limited to just like the eight bars if you forget to do this you're going to be talking forever and ever and ever and not realize that actually none of the stuff was recording anymore or you're gonna be so serious and maybe you say something and then you miss a moment because you were not like paying attention to the fact that it was only eight bars so now that you have unlimited bars to speak for however long and record whatever if you are a podcaster this is basically the end for you for for the the tone thing you can change it however you want to feel or hear how your voice sounds you can compress it you can hear like there's a difference i'm not a professional musical person so i don't really know like what's popping with the compressors or whatever i just know what i want to hear and how i want to hear it and we move so the drive thing the whole thing makes it sound more like you in a church space and then your voice echoes can you hear that yeah after at the end i'll show you guys how to save everything and how to send or whatever now coming to my ladies and gents who want to be using instrumentals and singing along that or poetry speakers now let us add an instrumental so you are going to go in the top left corner you can see that there is this uh block that has like, that's like transparent with three bars there i'm just gonna click on that you're gonna go back to that audio recorder thing and then there it says instrument at first we only chose voice because that's all we wanted just the voice to record our voice but now we want to add an instrument right so immediately you can see they show you a, a garage a, a, a garage what a guitar they show you a guitar there and yeah it also has like a few like buttons to press so uh, not press but like you know adjust and stuff like that the monitors also the same things now the beauty of this thing is you don't have to set how many bars anymore because you've already set it right so you're just going to be going with it the bars are already unlimited now you're going to be go pressing um third third from the left from the left uh top right corner third from the left you're going to be pressing that now you see that you have a guitar so but then there is nothing next to the guitar this is the point where you're not going to be putting that instrumental that you want to be singing along to how do you do this okay third from the right you can see that there's that loop thing right so you're going to be pressing on that and you can either if you're a person who wants to use garage band to like do your own drums and all that kind of stuff i mean you can do that you're welcome like there's a bunch of drums and sounds and whatever that are here piano loops and stuff like that you can use those and and make a song out of that for yourself if you have got the time and are a creative person like that yeah but if you just like me you just want to like use instrumentals and stuff like that just to sing along to it maybe just for fun for youtube for whatever you go to files you've already downloaded the instrumental it is part of like your files that you've saved so you pick whatever instrumental it is um let me see i want to sing love galore by caesar so i'm gonna take that and i'm gonna drag it over to the guitar which is like the instrumental yeah so as soon as i do that it is ready all set for me to like record now you want to be careful that the highlight thing is on the mic if you wanna when you want to sing because now the highlight thing is on the guitar but now the highlight thing is on the mic and then you press the red button record but if like you can see when you press record it takes you back to those button stuff right and you see lead vocals then you know you're recording in the right space anyways when you're recording on your instrumental it's just gonna be like silent and you're not gonna hear anything then you're gonna know something's wrong because as you're recording you're supposed to be hearing the instrumental in your ear so okay let us begin and uh record okay okay i need 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 Cause we got done with this niggas 
Don't love these niggas, got stop these niggas, do it for fun. Don't take it personal, baby. Personally, I'm surprised you call me after the things I say. Skirt, skirt on niggas, skirt, skirt on niggas, skirt up. You acting like me, acting like a we wasn't more than a summer fling. I say farewell, you took it well. Promise I won't cry over spilled milk. Hey, give me a paper towel, give me another volume, give me another hour or two. Hour with you. Why are you bothering me when you know you don't want me? Why are you bothering me when you know you got a woman? Why are you hitting me when you know you know better? No, you know better. No, you know better than you do. Got me looking for you. I'll be looking for him. Got me looking forward to weekends with you, baby. You, baby. You, baby. You. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. I'm going to end it here. <laughs> so, yeah, now that you've recorded, because I've stopped recording, I'm going to remove these. Now that you've recorded, let me show you how you say it. Because, of course, you're going to be listening to yourself. You're going to be listening to the notes. You're going to be listening whether you were on time, whether you hit the right notes, whatever it is that makes you feel like, you know what, this is the audio, this is the sound. Because you were recording at the same time, you don't have to record this again. Sometimes you feel like singing but not recording at the time. Sometimes you can, like record the audio alone and then if it's a song that you really know and you know you always singing you always sing it consistently the same way or you can sing over it you can record later and lip sync to your own you know voice because at the end of the day it's your own voice right but that is really if you know you were not feeling like recording that day but you felt like kind of like singing and stuff like that and then you can just wear the makeup for another day and then maybe yeah do that so now that you're done with everything and now that you've said everything how do you save right and how do you mix it and match the audio what is now this other um app that you're going to be using to match this audio that you've recorded and the video that you've also recorded at the same time this is how you're going to be saving the audio first from uh garage band top 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 left on the last side you see that there is like this letter thing folded like that so you're just going to be pressing that and already you saw that it was it said saving so i know that my 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 recording for today the date is the third so i'm recording this on the third yes so um i'm seeing that it says today uh 1549 that's the timestamp for today and the date for today so i'm gonna be renaming that and be like you know love galore or whatever your recording is I'm going to say YouTube video because I need to find it, right? Love color yet video. It is what it is. It's fine. What you do then, I'm going to be long pressing on that specific audio that I just recorded. I'm going to say share. I'm going to say song, high quality. Uh, you can go highest quality, whatever you want. But I just say high quality and then I share. Share with what? For me, I want to share with my iPhone because... I edit from my iPhone. Literally everything I edit, I edit on my iPhone. And then I'm going to be adding it on that app that I will be matching the voice with. The other app that I use is Perfect Video. Perfect Video for me is like really, really cool because I can edit whatever I want. And I like the transitions and I just, I really like it. And it works well for me. I don't know which other video... Um, Recu uh, video editors you guys use if you have any uh, suggestions for me if you think it would be better um, then you can just let me know but that's the one that I use and yes I did kind of have to buy the app to get all of the features but it wasn't expensive I think it was not more than 100 rand less than some somewhere there and it's a one-time fee and you get to use it forever like literally even if you delete it and download it you can kind of like say that you paid before and you can use it however that you want so i basically use perfect video and then i send the audio to perfect video and then on perfect video i literally take the the video that i just recorded and then i take the audio and i put it together and i try to match it it might take a little minute but the, like the more you do these things you kind of like 
get used to it. Alright guys, so that's basically it. Like literally every time I need to record, that's basically what I do. I just use my phone, use my headset and my iPad. Simple as that. I send it to each other. I, it takes a minute to edit sometimes depending. For me, if I speak, it takes more to edit. But if I like just sing, I already know how to match the voice with the, with the song because I know where it starts. As soon as you get where it starts, it's over. So, but then basically those are the simple steps. Those are the simple apps that I use. Ooh, I just rhymed. Simple steps, simple apps. Hey, hey, hey. Anyways, I use GarageBand and I use uh, Perfect Video. And so that is basically it. Those are my secrets, which are never secrets at all. I hope that it has been helpful to you guys, helpful to somebody because you guys have been asking for like a minute. So I really hope that um, it is helpful and that you'll be able to use it for yourself. Don't forget to share this to a friend, maybe that they, they've been looking for like apps and ways to use. Don't forget to share this video. Also, do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to like and comment. Thank you, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe. Don't forget to wear your mask. Don't forget to sanitize. As well as social distance. From me, Pili Lamasego. Kisses. Beijos. Mm. Ah, booze. Bye, guys. Bye.